Hey there, welcome to Pixels Refreshed. Today I got Graham with me and we're looking at the new Gran Turismo 7 trailer that was released yesterday. So there's gonna be a lot of tech probably to go through this. We're gonna be seeing if rays have been traced or not. And well, we, we'll know, we'll take a look. Some of these things, it'll be pretty obvious if rays are being traced properly, but I'm curious their setup. Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's get into this one and see what they've got for us. Extra loud. Dang. So, right away we're seeing ray trace reflections. However, yep. <laughs> however, the resolution is much lower than the base assets. So you can see with yeah. the the base assets here. Look how clean these like lines are on these specific shapes. And if you look at the ray traced reflections in here, you're getting a lot of specularity. Mm-hmm. It's crazy to that's see. Nice, that's a that's a nice sky. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy to see the clouds moving across the sky. So, yeah. okay. So a couple of things. They're they're having looks like some kind of dynamic sky system. So mm. I'm I'm curious what they're doing. Probably generating clouds, doing a lot of like gradients. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a the volumetric cloud system. You can definitely tell since the clouds aren't super super detailed, but mm -hmm. um, there is like light bouncing going around, going on in them. So I know what a, that. I know a lot of games on like PS4 and Xbox One that generation they would um they would have dynamic cloud systems but they would only update the calculations like every four or five frames to just save on performance mm -hmm. so they they should be able to have much more uh, regular updates on their cloud so you wouldn't notice those transitions little little stiff particles on those leaves as they yeah. slide around oh nice lights nice lights nice lights yeah so ray trace reflections are a big deal but you can see it's a uh, clearly much lower resolution look at all the dithering in yeah in these settings like there's there is a lot of dithering this texture is not amazing and you are seeing the geometry somewhat you can see the geometry in these kind of edges and stuff there's here some some ambient occlusion especially some of the smaller parts on yeah. this truck here i'm not super sold on yeah well you're seeing the ambient occlusion like yeah. along here and you're not seeing it here so it's got to be a screen yeah, i was gonna say right there it's it's not a like a ray traced ambient occlusion or um like it's not even probably a voxel base it's probably just a screen space and you can tell the easiest way you can tell is because it usually misses stuff like this. So it's, it's right here. It's missing yeah. this strip here. You would get a little bit of a gradient coming on this inside layer and then over here. And you would, so we're not getting that, mm. but you do get it in the bigger areas like this one here. You're getting some ambient occlusion. So ambient occlusion, um, once again, is when light is trying to bounce and it can't get into the exact corners. So usually it bounces back and forth and it gets diffused in corners and you get a slight darkness into the dark corners of areas so anyways that's where ambient occlusion is yeah got some cylinders i feel like this is this is their vision that they've been trying to do since like gran turismo 2 because i remember gran turismo yeah. 2 and 3 trailers that were just like this they just had the you know they had the cylinders going in the engine and they've always wanted to show that And they're like, we can do it real time now. I mean, if there's yeah, now they're showing us that they did it. So they clearly for like this one car did higher resolution reflection there for a second. Yeah, this is crazy, though, because when you see like these are the things that have been really hard to do without ray trace reflections is this distortion you see as the car, just the shape mm -hmm. of the car distorting the reflection almost perfectly as it warps around. I noticed you're focusing on the cars, but in that last shot there, I wasn't totally sold on the snow. I feel like the normal map on that uh, snow texture there was a little bit too bumpy for me. Well, you That's know, you're, you're going to drive looks, by it. Looks a little bit, looks a little bit like hard plastic. I don't I, know. I'm not sold on the texture. Like this is the weird thing too. You can see even here, this texture is much higher resolution than the ground texture, which is closer yeah. to us. Yeah. So there's like there's little strange things like this. You're not going to care about this when you're driving past it. The problem is when they give us a photo mode. We are a little a little um, 
spoiled at this point, having just watched the God of War Ragnarok trailer, which absolutely nailed snow. So yeah. to see something that had essentially flawless snow come to this, which is much more like typical normal maps and, you know, just the reason the reason why that like actual like um, road textures a lot lower resolution is mostly because the snow over, or over in like the like behind the car is actually like a separate object. And yeah. then this actual path is like it's a spline with some pixel depth pixel depth offsetting yeah to blend them together so there are two separate objects and i'm not i think it's probably just like a bug or something since they're so this is texture they're just not blending texture, between the two texture resolutions since texture resolutions are so like different you know yeah when like you're that, driving they're just a lot lower they're not gonna see it you're not gonna but. see it so they're they're kind of they have to take liberties like that when they can i mean they're yeah. using your typical grass setup right you can see it right there when they go it's like you know just billboards those are some nice buildings now right there. Those, yeah. those reflections are nice. Yeah. This is an interior. This so. is like this is crazy watching the reflections work. They're low res, but it's still nice. Mm-hmm. And then I bet you as soon as more cars are in the scene in a race, it's gonna switch to screen space reflections. That's my guess. Maybe some sort of like like a um, hybrid distance kind of thing. Um, when the camera's close to the actual car, like ray tracing will turn on or something dynamically, and then when it's farther away, it'll switch to screen space. So this decal system is kind of interesting. Is it decal or decal? That's, I never. I'm not gonna say anything. It's definitely stolen from Forza Horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this this is a nice shot here. There's some shots where the movement doesn't sell me as much on the cars, and there's other ones where yeah. it does. Like this, this shot here is really nice. Like yeah. those trees. And those the last trees. two shots were both really nice. Like, yeah. yeah, that's pretty close to photorealistic on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. On that one and on this one over here, like that's mm -hmm. just, just nice. Um. Yeah, like it helps that's that they're using you know like bokeh, <laughs> dropping it yeah. in because this the depth of field covers up any any issues you might have with some of these assets. But this ground texture here is phenomenal. And that really mm -hmm. helps stand it out. And you are getting. Wait, is this an HDRI? Like with like it, a. I don't ground think plane? it's. It might be an <laughs> HDRI with a ground plane. That'd be funny if it was. Yeah. If so, you. I mean, it could literally just be like photogrammetry scans at this point. And like like that, that shot right there with the, the cottage in the background, that one looks really good. Yeah. I like the shot here. This doesn't look like photogrammetry though, because you're seeing like the no. base geometry. It looks like someone modeled this. And you're getting it's like, like these trees <laughs> here, like these. The, you can see the planes and stuff. They're not the, the best trees I've seen, but it definitely sells mm -hmm. sells what it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, the, I, yeah I, that that waterfall did not sell me in that shot there. And so the waterfall is not selling me. And this, yeah. you can see where those this. Are also, those are those are also tree planes right there. They're not actual tree meshes. It's kind of crazy when you see like mishmashes in tech. Because when I'm looking at this, yeah. it's like Grand Theft Auto Five on PS3 had better water. And this is yeah. a weird thing to say, and it's like you can see. So if you look here, you can see these parts where the where the tile, the water tile, is repeating, right? And it, it's probably going to be much worse when you're zoomed out this much because it's so obvious how often the texture is repeating, and the the shader effects repeating. But it's not like it's weird that a PS3 game has better water tech. Mm -hmm. It's pristine. You're still seeing like some geometry and stuff in the handle and stuff. It would have been nice to tessellate mm -hmm. that out even more. It's, it's nice lens effects though. Yeah, the lens the effects are nice there. and you can see the reflections on the front of the hood. They're, they're accurate. You can see like I, I don't think you could capture that stuff properly in screen space. That's that, that has to be ray tracers. No, that's impossible. <laughs> you got some frame drops here when the it's oh, like yeah. it's clearly a lower frame rate when it transitions to this scene here. Man, Sony's got to get variable rate ref, uh, variable refresh rate going on because it's like the biggest drawback. It's like a drop to 45 frames per second wouldn't be a big deal if you had variable refresh rate on, but without it, you'll notice it. Yeah, the reflections in that in that tunnel there were also very nice with the uh, the bounce light the... on the ceiling. It's really oh, yeah, nice. Doesn't it? I was gonna say that too. Yeah. And this the the actual texture of the roof is nice. It's got that kind of like organic breakup that you see along concrete, where it doesn't yeah. look like just a repeating texture. It looks really really organic. Yeah, this game would be really good in HDR. I would have to say. 
Definitely. Yeah. I haven't played anything without HDR in so long, I don't even know anymore. I don't have any... Well, I've, my monitor is HDR capable, but it's not really worth turning it on, no. Yeah. It's kind Ooh, of... IPS. <laughs> it's kind of weird to see, like, an old car like this with pristine paint. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah. in real life, you wouldn't see that anymore. You'd be like, I have no idea what year that is. But it's like, you if you saw that on the road, it would not look like that. Yeah, and the shot the motion does look very nice. I'd yeah. Have to, I'd have to stay. In motion, it's like, you don't care about the background issues almost anywhere. Pretty decent mm -hmm. uh, physics on the... The rock there you are seeing so this is like an area where some of they could use more samples on the motion blur you can kind of see mm. streaking seems to be the biggest issue with like specularity is almost going at a different resolution you're seeing some of these weird kind of like glistening specular effects that are not yeah. tracking with the rest of the game even here it's like in the puddles that's exactly what you're seeing you have one scene resolution and then you're getting a lot of breakup in these the puddles from specular like just the specularity in the reflections anyways uh march so it's coming soon we will have forza to compare it to so yeah. that'll be that'll be interesting i'm curious so from my Overall, though, like the the mind there's pretty much pretty minor things the only scene in this entire trailer that i really did not like was that waterfall the the, the, the top view the yeah water. And like the trees, I'm not a big fan of that that shot right there. Well, these Everywhere look like else, they look like planes. Well, okay, so you're getting like these kind of like hard this this area. Like I don't know if it's because it's not near enough to the track, so it's like yeah. they're expecting that you're gonna see it so far away that you won't care about it. But it's like look at the geomet the the geometric detail here. It's like really base. These trees aren't casting any shadows, and no. it's like it looks it looks pretty funny. It like. I wouldn't even have included this shot in the trailer. I just would have been like, <laughs> there's yeah. no point. Like this one's much better, right? It's like, next, yeah, yeah. That looks much more realistic. So it's like, it's kind of one of these weird things. I got to look at these hay bales real quick because, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. The, uh, the hay, the actual like grain on the ground doesn't have any shadows. But... Yeah, yeah. So that is actually very expensive to do when you have a lot of foliage and yeah. do shadows. Yeah. yeah. People are going to go customizing the cars like crazy. Yeah. Well, anyways, that is Gran Turismo. Uh, let me pop this scene out. Anyways, I yeah, there's a lot of really cool tech there. I think that, mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to see optimizations to ray tracing in a couple of years so that we can see higher resolution ray tracing like i know that ratchet and clank bumped their ray tracing they they doubled their resolution on the ray tracing right before release and that well I, i'm not sure whether they fully doubled it or whether they they upped it by like 20 or 30 percent and checkerboarded it which made it match the resolution of the screen much nicer and they weren't using checkerboard in the base game but they were using checkerboard in the reflections um which is pretty cool that they were able to do that to kind of match up the resolution. So I'm curious, we, I mean, it's still March away and they got that patch and Somniac got that patch in, in like right at launch week. So there's still room to improve some of those things, especially, um, ray trace reflections and, and yeah, like those kind of things are the most likely to improve the things that are unlikely to change at all would be like the model detail or, um, yeah animations or the physics at this point and all of that stuff would be set because they've probably done like hundreds of thousands of hours of testing it yeah so it's like the art stuff's most likely to stay some of the tech stuff might be tweaked before release but mm -hmm. overall it's looking pretty good um yep yeah so anyways i hope you like it if you do feel free to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one